Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay. I have a lot going on here. Um, for some of you, there's definitely like a thick sense of attachment to somebody that you may at some point feel like it's kind of gone a bit overboard. Let me get further and see, because this could be somebody else's energy that's around you. But I'm getting something about, for some of you, you may be like keeping tabs on someone heavily, just like minding somebody's business, maybe what they're doing. But again, this can be somebody around you. Only you know. Right now it's about resting and doing what you need to do. You may be on some sort of um, break or vacation right now or taking some time. We have the world and we have the four of swords. This is kind of like being forced into taking a break or resting. I'm also looking at a tower on the bottom of the deck. There may have been something that happened that... Yeah, I kind of get the sense of like if you're not going to rest and if you're not going to like be disciplined enough to be like, okay, like I need to go to bed now, I'm tired. Something is kind of going to force you into a situation where you're going to bed. Kind of like you're going to stay up past your bedtime and you end up getting a headache and so like there's no point in staying up anyway so you end up going to sleep, something like that. And that may be a metaphor for maybe something going on here. The thing about this is that with Saturn and the Four of Swords, this is meant to teach you like what your limitations are and also when you need to relax, when you need to recover your energy, making sure that you're getting enough sleep, making sure that you're paying attention to your body and your mental health, doing what you need to for you and remembering why. So yeah, whatever this cycle is, it's been about teaching you about the importance of rest and recharging your battery and taking a break and relaxing. I'm getting some, something about bicycles here. Yeah, chilling out with the... with the impulsivity is what this looks like. Now, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious and there's also nothing wrong with feeling passionate and going towards the things that you want. However, when there's not a balance, when there's not a like running, resting balance, there's going to be an issue. So it seems like there's been something that is being moderated something that you're learning to do this can also be about like other people in your life that are like hey can you do this hey can i sign you up for that um can you pick me up after school can you drop my lunch off whatever this is for you where people are like calling you um wanting your energy wanting your time wanting your brain all of that stuff it's about also figuring out how to find the balance between being able to do the things that you want to do and being able to play and then also having that time to yourself to kind of recuperate and to ground and to meditate and to get connected with your guides and to center yourself. So it's like work hard, play hard, rest hard, all of that is what I'm seeing here. There may be something that you want to do, but you're going to have to let go of something else in order to do that. You may need to take a bit of a chance on something and it's going to... It's going to require you to leave your comfort zone. leave your comfort zone if something is not working there may be somebody that you were connecting with that you were trying to get some sort of commitment out of and they were not budging or maybe not falling in line this could have been somebody that you were 
Okay. You were thinking about having a relationship with this person or thinking about the relationship you have with this person. Maybe you were also trying to figure out like if this was something that you could deal with or not. Let's see further. But you may have had like time time away. There's some sort of break that you had from this energy. Okay, you want to like reevaluate and reconfigure what you feel your heart is connected with genuinely. And also ask yourself, especially if this is, let's use the example of this being a person because for some of you I am seeing this is connected with someone. You want to ask yourself when it comes to the things that this person is serving, like are those the things that I want really when I ask myself genuinely. They may be fun and exciting, however, it looks like you're looking for something emotionally and are you going to be able to find it with your connection with this person? Like, it, are they providing what you are looking for from a fulfillment standpoint? Time to dial it in. Yeah, and if they're not being able to find the courage and the respect both for you and this person to be straightforward with them, to advocate for yourself and what you need. Because it also, too, seems like maybe somebody's been doing something that you don't feel, like, okay with or maybe you don't appreciate or you're not vibing with it. And you may want to say something to this person. They may not be doing it on purpose. Like, they may just not be maybe not so self-aware I'm seeing somebody that may be making jokes or making comments or something that are like out of touch but they're not understanding how it's translating and even if you would be like well I wouldn't say something like that or I would read the room first like this person just isn't for whatever reason okay and so there may be something that you need to say to them. If you feel like something across the line or you feel uncomfortable with something you're going to want to say something. This time that you may be taking um, may kind of be helping you figure out what to say. Because I'm seeing you like not want to come across harsh, but you also want to be like very firm with what you're saying and articulate. It does look like communication that's going to be happening between the two of you. But yeah, I'm seeing that there are like, it seemed like there was some sort of pause between you and this person. I'm hearing hold on. You could have even, like, checked in with somebody, too. Like, maybe you went to one of your friends and you're like, what do I do about this? Because I'm seeing you be in a space where you want to... You want to go for the things that are creating stability in your life. And so, if whatever this... I'm hearing free radical. Whatever energy this is that's in your life that's kind of like bouncing around and hopping around, I'm seeing them be kind of erratic. Whatever this is, it may not be like conducive to creating the type of stability that you want. And so you're either going to need to put this on a leash or let it go. If it can be tamed... So you really have to ask yourself, like, is this really fitting into, like, my agenda of what I see, the intention, the vision that I am holding for myself, and what I want my life and, like, even these goals to be? Or is this just something that's not matching my energy and so I don't need to keep it around? And there doesn't need to be, like, judgment or value placed on this, like, just because someone doesn't fit, it doesn't mean like they're a bad person or a good person or whatever. It just isn't working for you, you know? It is what it is. But you don't want to be accepting things that aren't actually resonating with you. Because then your life is just going to be filled with a bunch of stuff that you don't want. And then you're going to be looking around being like, what is all of this stuff? You just feel like you're surrounded by a bunch of irrelevant junk. And wondering how you got there. It's by not using your discernment and just letting things come in and out without checking them at the door. And so you want to be checking things at the door. So you don't get into any issues later on when stuff starts piling up. You want to make sure that it's the stuff you want around you. And not stuff that you are like 
too lazy to be really asking yourself, does this resonate with me? Does this not? The work you put in now is going to save you later for sure. So yeah, if there's anything you're doing right now, anything that you are maintaining, anything that you are participating in that is not connected with the heart space that is not fulfilling why are you doing it i'm seeing saturn come through for you right now so the way that saturn is hitting you in this reading saturn comes through and saturn is going to clean things up if there's anything that's unnecessary that you have going on that should not be happening saturn is going to come through and get rid of it for you it's kind of like you you have the opportunity to clean your room and if you did not clean your room on time, Saturn is going to come through and clean your room for you. And so it's going to happen. And I'm seeing you like this even be happening while you're taking a nap. So some of it at this point may be a bit out of your hands. And you may even be, I'm seeing you even like going on vacation and like Saturn's really coming through and cleaning your room while you're gone. So maybe there's something happening where you're like away and there's some sort of cleanup interesting but it seems like you're away on a mission that is going to kind of help you address something mentally that needs to be addressed and I'm also seeing this translate to an interpersonal relationship too so maybe this time away that you've had has kind of helped you formulate something and get more clear on your goals that you have and also how you want to go after them too because I'm seeing a balance of precision here with like mentally where you are and also when it comes to your ambition how you're connecting these two energies and going towards what you want like using both of them in a complementary way in a beneficial way where you're thinking about what you're going after and you're kind of um like tempering and also guiding and channeling like where your passions and your ambition are leading you and that seems like the perfect recipe for you to be going after the right opportunities for you confidently also too sometimes because of like outward pressure that we feel we may not always say no to things when we actually want to make sure that you're checking yourself if that is something that happens and even getting to the bottom of like I don't know, maybe a people-pleasing streak that you have. It's something to look into because it's something that it can be, it's something that can be worked on and it's something that can definitely add value to your quality of life. There may also be something that you're switching it up with too. Looking at Saturn and Sagittarius. For some of you, you're moving or traveling or you're going somewhere. There could be an opportunity that you're taking that is going to connect you with another person or there's going to be even another another or a different hat that you are going to be wearing maybe multiple i'm seeing a lot of feminine energy here we have the queen of swords the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands hmm You may be tightening up your friend group. There may also be some sort of gathering that you're going to, but this doesn't look for leisure. It looks like it's for something else. Like it doesn't only look for look like it's for leisure or for or for pleasure. It does look like something social, but it's it's not solely for you within your personal life. There's another reason why this is happening. And as I said before, there may be like a tightening up that you're doing socially of who you're hanging out with. Like maybe before 
Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Corinne. I'm also hearing Chrysanthemum. There may have been somebody that you were hanging out with or certain people that you were hanging out with before. And now you are getting more, um, maybe more deliberate with who it is that you're spending time with. Like you may have been partying more or just like going out more or something like that. And I'm seeing something is like not going to be happening as much right now. Maybe you don't, you're not going to be socializing as much or maybe you're going to be socializing with different people. But something is changing that's related to the social structure and also how you socialize. Yeah, I'm seeing a gathering of people, but it's for, like, a different reason. I am hearing off-brand. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, there may be... What is the word? It's like you're, you may be obligated to, to go to some sort of gathering or something like that. It looks like an obligation. And for some of you, you're traveling there. I'm for some of you, I'm seeing you take some sort of transit. I'm getting a plane for some of you. Interesting. I'm seeing you're going to be bumping into people you know, or at least one person that you know, but there's going to be a familiar face that you see. I am getting this be, this is not just you one-on-one -on -one with somebody. I'm seeing multiple people here. It does look like a gathering. As I said before, it's like there's some sort of obligation that's connected with this. I'm seeing a couple different faces. But it may feel kind of like a challenge because I'm hearing underwater. For some of you, you're like not good with like at least one person that is going to be there at this thing. Like maybe, I don't know, something is, something's going on between you and someone else. I'm getting that this is something that already happened. But it may make something maybe, like, less enjoyable to you. Like, it's not like you're going there and being like, oh, I'm just going to be with all of my friends there. Like, there may be somebody, um, I'm hearing in the crowd of faces that, like, you feel like you're obligated to go, but maybe you wouldn't particularly want to hang out with this person. But it's only because, like, there's some sort of beef between you and this person. But I'm seeing that also be the challenge for you too because it seems like you, you're you going in this direction. There's like nothing that can stop this. To have the Eight of Wands, it's like, yes, we're for sure going to be showing up at the event. Um, and yes, like all parties are going to be attending. And at the same time, the challenge for you is some sort of social challenge to even figure out and maneuver something about a connection that you have with someone. This is somebody that you know. You may have been really tight with this person in the past, actually. Not so much anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing like you may still feel hurt or even upset about things that have happened. I'm hearing that means you still care. I'm getting something like this where it's like somebody still has the power to like maybe bother you, we can say. Things are not how you would want them to be. Like in an ideal situation, they wouldn't be like that. And that's why it seems like this is kind of slipping in here because where I'm getting this is going to be going is that there is a possibility for you to actually reconcile with this person. Because I'm seeing like something's still not sitting well with you. Like something actually still really bothers you when you think about it with you and this person. I am seeing that you guys were close at one point in time. Very, very close with one another. Even like maybe inseparable at a point in time. 
for some of you, you dated this person, but for others of you, there may have been like something where it was like, are we friends? Are we together? Or maybe it was just a platonic relationship where you were really, really close with this person. Yeah, you have the opportunity to... patch things up is what I'm seeing. This looks like it's going to go better than expected. However, it's not going to feel, it's going to feel like a challenge. However, I'm seeing that there's a possibility, a good possibility, a good chance for this to go much, much, much better than you anticipate. It's just about going into it with the right attitude and also being open. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.